This is Barwell's BFT-10. It's a tabletop cryogenic machine. As you can see, it has a very compact chamber, just enough room for the basket so it can easily rotate. Down here is where you place your media, and this is the media assist area that draws the media up through the throw wheel, through the throw wheel tube and into the chamber. It has door blast and media assists inside. The BFT-10 throw wheel is driven via a belt that is driven via an AC motor that generates speeds up to 20,000 RPM. Having such a high RPM rate helps to reduce the cycle times that the parts are inside the machine. And as you can see, all parts that are dangerous are well hidden behind polycarbonate covers, making this area very safe. On the BFT-10, you have an MB5 screen. On the screen, you will see your parameters required to deflash the parts. You can enter throw wheel speed up to 20,000, basket speed, cycle time in seconds, post tumble time in seconds. And you also have here, this is just a guide because the temperature gauge you have to use is down here. This controls your temperature. This is just a parameter setting guide. You've also got door blast, media assist and LN2. This is how you save the profiles. So you come into here and you press save. Also, you have an override switch. So that's if you need maintenance mode. The maintenance team can put it into override. You have your e-stop and stop start. If you compress your e-stop, the machine shuts down. And then upon releasing the e-stop, you then have to press the reset button and it all comes back again. As you can see, the machine holds its temperature very well. Here you can see when the solenoid valve is actuating in and out. You can also see your media flow very clearly. And you can clearly see what your dry air flow is. So that's the speed. This is the parts before. And this is your deflashed parts. Now that you've finished using your BFT-10 for the shift, you simply clean the inside of the chamber using a dustpan and a dustpan and brush. Once you've removed as much as you can, using a clean hoover, just for the BFT-10. Now that you've emptied your chamber of media, you now just need to give it a quick hoover to draw out any leftover media.
once hoovered, you simply get your bung and you place it inside the machine to prevent any of this moisture from dropping down into the area where the media will sit on the next cycle.